Imagine the following situation. You have planned a new factory in 3D and want to present the result to the management the day after tomorrow. Unfortunately, you still lack a 3D model. So, what to do? Maybe you can find the missing model on the internet? We would like to help you and answer the following question. How can you download digital 3D factory models from the internet and what do you have to keep in mind? Using 3D models from the internet is done in three steps. First, you need to search for the model on the internet and choose one. Second, if necessary, you have to buy the model and download it. In the last step, you import the model into your planning system. When searching for models, you can use different platforms. In the video description you find some links to them, we will update them from time to time. Let's look at the steps in detail. The biggest challenge is probably the search and selection of a suitable model. Why is that? There are many 3D models on the internet, but not every model is suitable for factory design. The following shows what you should look for when searching for a model. Let's take a look at the data formats first. You need to start by checking which data formats you can import into your planning system. If there are multiple options, try what works best. In our example we want to use the OBJ format. Some platforms allow you to filter by file format, this makes the search easier. Once you have found models in the right format, the next step is to check the complexity and detail of the model. You want to run through your digital 3D model during your presentation, in real time. Unless you are using a supercomputer, the 3D models must not be too complex or too detailed. On the left side you can see what happens if the models are too complex, your presentation becomes a slideshow. To describe the complexity, the number of polygons is often specified on the model platforms. Polygons are the triangles that make up the surface of the models. But what is a good value for factory design? The number of triangles depends on the size of the model. For example, let's take an object of about 2 by 2 by 2 meters. This object, rounded up, has a volume of about 10 cubic meters. Models of this size that are very suitable for factory planning have up to 5,000 triangles. Models of this size with up to 25,000 triangles are suitable, but for this higher demands are made on the performance of the computer. However, the example model with the volume of about 10 cubic meters should not exceed 25,000 triangles if possible. This recommendation changes over time as computers get better. Please check the link below in the video description, there you will find the recommendations for model complexity for the current computer technology. If you know the size of your model, then you can calculate the appropriate number of polygons yourself. You can then enter the calculated upper limit as a filter on the model platforms. After setting the level of detail, you can adjust the search to your budget. Many models can be downloaded for free, for this you need to register on the model platform. For good models you often have to pay something. But usually the models are many times cheaper than if you would model them yourself. Once you have found a suitable model, the next step is to check whether the licensing offered for the model fits your use case. It is usually possible to use the models for your own planning projects. Often, only the resale of the models is prohibited. To be on the safe side, you should read the license terms once. If you have found a suitable model, then you have already done the hardest part and the rest should be easy. In the next step you can buy the model if necessary and download it. It is recommended that you save the downloaded model together with the invoice and the associated license terms. This way, after a few months or years, you can still track the conditions under which you purchased the model and how you are allowed to use it. With some file formats you have to download several files. The additional files often contain information about the representation of the model surfaces. With the OBJ format, for example, you need a so-called MTL file in addition to the OBJ file. This file contains the material settings and should be stored in the same folder as the OBJ file. Other files can be textures. Textures contain image information that is displayed as a surface on the 3D models. These textures can significantly improve the display quality of the models. 
In the last step you will import the model into your planning system. If the download consists of several files, then it is very important to unzip downloaded file before. The importer can usually only access unzipped files. When importing, you should make sure to import the model in the correct orientation and scale. Models are often too large or too small by a factor of 1000. This is because the source and target systems work with different primary length units, for example meters or millimeters. Therefore, it is important that you check the dimensional accuracy of the imported models after the model import. Finally, you can replace your placeholder with the new model. Now nothing stands in the way of a successful presentation. Good luck!